Over the past week, we've witnessed peaceful demonstrations rightfully demanding justice for George Floyd that were co-opted by violent rioters. Unlike the demonstrators, the rioters are not peacefully calling for change. They are encouraging acts of domestic terror through assault, vandalism, and looting. They're responsible for destroying communities and livelihoods already devastated by COVID-19, and I think it's disgraceful. We've seen rioters burn down churches. We've seen rioters assault police and cruelly attack the homeless. We've seen rioters destroy small businesses, attack reporters, and smash the windows of the state Supreme Court. This is not the America we know and love. The violence and the madness must stop. Every elected official has an obligation to condemn this violence and call for the restoration of law and order. Peacefully demanding justice and condemning this violence are not mutually exclusive. We can and we must do both. George Floyd, an unarmed black man, was suffocated and killed by a police officer as he was pleading for air. This murder was horrific and it was disgraceful. George Floyd and his loved ones deserve justice and the officers involved in this killing must be held fully accountable by our legal system. This is not the first tragic video we've seen and it's symbolic of a bigger problem we have in our country. Many law-abiding Americans feel fear and distrust when they see a police officer simply because of the color of their skin. No American should ever have to live in fear. And every American, regardless of their race or income, deserves to live in a community safely. We must address this problem and we must do better. We should also remember that the vast majority of law enforcement officers are good people who serve honorably. They too are outraged by the killing of George Floyd. We all need to do our part to build trust, to improve community police relations, and to do a better job in respecting and loving our fellow Americans. I hope we can all agree the violence we are witnessing will not get us any closer to that goal. It's why George Floyd's family has been outspoken in calling for peace, noting that he would be devastated to see the rioting taking place today. This is a difficult time in our nation. We are facing an unprecedented pandemic that has taken the lives of 100,000 Americans and caused tremendous damage to our economy. Many North Carolinians are hurting right now, and the video only causes more pain. That's why now, more than ever, it's imperative for us to come together. We cannot allow senseless violence of rioters to further divide us. We need to come together and defeat COVID-19. We need to come together and safely reopen our economy and get back to work. And we need to come together to seek justice and make needed reforms. Thank you, and may God bless our great state and our great nation.